Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be discussing an important topic for English language teachers, teaching English as a foreign language, TEFL. By the end of this module, you will have a better understanding of the overall aim of TEFL, as well as techniques for facilitating communication, encouraging listening and learning, and encouraging speaking. So, what is the overall aim of TEFL? Put simply, it is to help students develop the ability to communicate effectively in English. This involves developing skills in reading, writing, listening, and speaking. As teachers, our job is to create an environment in which students can practice and develop these skills, using a variety of techniques and activities. One important technique for facilitating communication is to encourage students to speak as much as possible. This can be done through a variety of activities, such as role plays, debates, and discussions. By providing students with opportunities to express themselves in English, we help them to become more confident and fluent speakers. Another important technique for teaching English is to encourage students to listen and learn. This can be done through a variety of activities, such as listening exercises, audio recordings, and videos. By exposing students to authentic English spoken by native speakers, we help them to develop their listening comprehension skills and to become more familiar with the sounds and rhythms of the language. To help students develop their speaking skills, it's also important to provide them with feedback and correction. This can be done through individual feedback, group feedback, or through peer correction. By identifying and correcting errors, we help students to develop more accurate pronunciation and grammar. Lastly, it's important to make sure that students are engaged and motivated throughout the learning process. This can be done by providing interesting and challenging activities, by varying the pace and intensity of the lessons, and by providing plenty of opportunities for students to practice and apply what they have learned. So, in summary, by the end of this module, you will have a better understanding of the overall aim of TEFL, as well as techniques for facilitating communication encouraging listening and learning, and encouraging speaking. I hope you find this module useful, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you.